Okay, so we are, this is arc lengths for period one and three, geometry. And what we're doing is finding the measure of each bolted arc. Now we are going to be going through each one on this page. And hopefully you guys use this as a problem solving helper. If you get stuck, you come and watch this. In no way, shape, or form should this be a replacement for you guys doing the work. Now you will need a calculator uh, to do this, so uh, make sure you have that before you get started. So remember, in general, the rule that we're using looks like this. That the arc length is equal to the circumference times x degrees over 360. Now because we've been using 2 pi r for the circumference, this is what we talked about, where x is the um, arc measure, uh, the degree arc measure. So here, this is our radius, 7.5 inches. This is x degrees right here. So what we have is we are looking for this length. So if we have Andy Angle right here, and Andy goes, I want to go for a walk. And he walks down the screen, and then he gets tired. So then he like lays down, and he starts to sleep. How far did Andy walk? Well, we go the entire circumference of the circle to times pi times 7.5. Now that will give us all the way around. Well, we don't want to go all the way around. We only want to go 35 degrees. So we go 35 out of the hole, which is 360 degrees. Now on your calculator, it really is as simple. All you hit is 2 times pi times 7.5 times 35 divided by 360. And that's what I'm doing right now. Times 35 divided by 360. And we get 4.581. So we're going to go 4.58 inches. Okay, that's number one. Number two, notice here that the area we're being asked to measure is outside of it. Well, we know that all the way around is 360, so we know that this angle right here is going to be 360 minus 118, or 242 degrees. So we do the exact same thing that we did over here on number one, but we're doing it here. So we go two times pi times four times 242 divided by 360. Again, calculator, you're going to go two times pi times four times 242 divided by 360. And that gives me 16.894. So keep in mind what we're doing, if, if I just wanted the entire circumference, I'd go two times pi times um, the radius, which in this case would give me 25.13. But I don't want the full thing. I only want 242 360ths of it. So I multiply those two together. And that's what's giving me 16.89 centimeters. Okay. Here, notice that they give us the diameter. So instead of going 2 pi r, we're going to go c equals pi times the diameter. So we're going to go pi times the diameter times x over 360. Again, we're looking at the outside area here. So to get that, we're going to go 360 minus 57, 
which is going to be 303 degrees. So we're going to go pi times the diameter, 26 meters, times the portion of the circle we're going around, 303 degrees out of a possible 360 degrees. And that gives us 68.75 meters. Now it's 68.748. So since we're rounding to the nearest hundredth, we round that four up to a five. And that's our answer. Number four, find the length of PS. So what we're looking for here, it's important to note, is this bit right here. So how do we find that? Well, we know that this is 16 right here, and we know that P to R right there is 180 degrees. So this right here is going to be 180 minus 16, or 164 degrees. TR is 11 feet. That is the radius. T to R, that's a radius, so we're going to use circumference equals 2 times pi times R. And we're going to go to pi times 11 times 164 over 360. And that gives us the length of arc PS equals 31.49 feet. I get 2 times pi times 11 times 164 divided by 360. So here, MK is 10. So MK, this is a diameter because it's from M all the way to K. Now we're looking for M to K to L. All right, yeah, M to K to L. So really what we're looking for, notice that M to K is a diameter, so that's 180 degrees. So what we need to do is add to that K to L. Well, we know that this right here is a 90 degree angle. So this portion right here is going to be 90 minus 52 or 38 degrees. So since we're looking here, we're going to add that together and get 218 degrees. So we go pi times the diameter times x over 360. That's our formula that we're using. We're going to go pi times 10 times 218 over 360. And so we get 19.2.024 and that's going to round to 19.02 meters. On to number six. So y to v is 28 inches. So that's a diameter. Right? So we're going to use c equals pi d. Find the length of v, y, x. Starting at v, going around to y, and down to x. So... We're doing the whole thing except for this right here. So, what is that? Well, we know that this angle right here and this angle right here, those are going to be congruent because they are 
vertical angles. I also know that these two angles right here are 180 degrees. So the measure of arc UY is equal to 180 minus 117 or 63 degrees. So this is 63 degrees. This is 63 degrees. So there are a couple ways we can do this. What I so we can either add this that 117 plus 63, and then we could use this is going to be 102 degrees because it's 117 minus 15, and add all those together, and that would give us so 117 plus 63 plus 102 gives us 282 degrees. Now, the other way we can do it is we know that these two together, 63 and 15, that's 78. We can go 360 minus 78 and get 282 degrees. Whichever way makes more sense to you, same thing. So it really doesn't matter which way you go. So, what are we going to do? We're going to go pi times the diameter, 28 inches, and that's going to give us the total circumference. And we're going to multiply that by the portion of the circle we're talking about, in this case, 282 out of 360 degrees. Drop that into the calculator. Sixty-eight point nine zero five. So we get sixty-eight point nine one inches. How many are there? There are nine. We're almost done. See, easy peasy. It's been like twelve minutes. Hopefully, it'll take you a little bit longer, or else I vastly underestimated the amount of work that I should have given you. AF is twenty-three centimeters. So that is a radius. We're going to use circumference equals 2 pi r. We'll find the length of e to c. This bit right here. Okay, so we know that a, f, e, this right here is 148. We know that this part right here is going to be 180 degrees. 180 minus 148 is 32 degrees. Okay, now here's the tricky part. I know that this right here is actually going to be 148 as well. Because it is opposite of this. So this right here and this right here are actually vertical angles. BFD <laughs> and AFE are vertical angles. So since we know that B to F to D is 148 degrees and that B to F to C is 87... We can go 148 minus 87, and we get 61 degrees. So that's 61. 61, 32, 93 degrees. Drop it into the equation we've been using. 2 times pi times 23 centimeters times, that's our total circumference, and this right here, this is the portion of the circle we're talking about. 2 times 23 times 93 divided by 360 equals 37.332, 37.333 in centimeters. Okay, our last two. Oh, yay! Word problems. When will I ever need this? Here you go. The minute hand on a clock is 9 centimeters long and travels through an arc of 252 degrees every 42 minutes. There's a tenth of a centimeter. How far does the minute hand travel during a 42-minute period? So this is what it's asking. we got a clock right here. Okay. We've got a 9 centimeter long minute hand. And every 42 minutes... It goes 242 degrees. How long does it travel? Well, we can do that. 
2 times pi times 9 times 242 over 360. 252. Let's call it 252. I got a little confused because it was 42 minutes. We're going to drop that into our calculator. Divide everything by 360. And we get 39 point now this is 10th so we have 39.584 so we're going to go 39.6 centimeters last one ferris wheel has a diameter of 225 feet let's draw a picture diameter is 225 feet passenger gets in a car and travels 38 feet when the wheel stops to let more passengers on and the angle of rotation to the nearest degree. So this is a little tricky because we're going backwards. So Andy gets on right here in his car. And then he travels 38 feet and stops. He's still in his car. He's got his little bag of popcorn right here. It's like, woohoo! And what we want to know is what is that angle? Well, we know that pi times the diameter times x over 360 equals the length, the arc length. So normally we're solving for this right here, but now we're going to solve for this right here. So we go 225 pi times x over 360 equals the length, which is 38 feet. So I'm actually going to go 225 pi, 225 times pi, divide by 360. So I take all of these right here, and I get 1.96, the nearest degree, we'll round it at the end, x equals 38. Well, I just divide by 1.96. So you have 38 divided by 19. equals 19.35. Since we're rounding to the nearest degree, 19 degrees. I hope you behaved well. I hope you guys come and see the show this weekend. And I will see you all on Monday.